Hello and welcome back to Infinite Gamer. Uh, it is I, Infinite Gamer himself. I shall be starting a new save uh, on normal mode on my PS4 so I can uh, prepare myself and get ready to move towards the uh, TCC. So yeah, uh, yeah, just gonna have to get myself started and find my ship. Get myself exploring, collect all the glyphs, I will probably work through the story mode to begin with. Just so that I can get the first couple of glyphs. Yeah, we'll see where I go from there. Uh, <laughs> Hello again Alpha, and uh, yes I am starting again. I was going to do it from my, my previous um, PS4 No Man's Sky save, but... I forgot that I moved to a different different galaxy. So I kinda can't. Hmm. Actually I've just noticed something. No, I've not even added my bot commands. <laughs> I just noticed that myself. Um. Hey, Hidden Dragon, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself, thanks for asking. Good to have you here. Yeah, I've uh, just started my new save. I'm going to be getting ready to, uh, well, preparing myself to move to the TCC. And then hopefully get a home planet around there. Ugh. Okay then. Oh god. It's always daunting starting again, knowing you've got to you've got to earn all that money again. Ugh! Got to find myself a freighter again. Oh, it's going to be fun. So let's broadcast this off. Traveler anomaly detected. Position logs. System integrity scan initialized. Anomaly is compliant. Oh, awesome! I will. Uh, I will definitely have to meet up with you once. Uh, once we both there, then that'd be awesome. So I'm not gonna have anything I could do with that. Iteration online. Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters offline. Pulse engine offline. Pilot multi tool critically damaged. Overwoken near a crashed ship. I can only assume it belongs to me, though I have no memory of it. No sense of the before. The crash must have affected my memory somehow. Request log unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Guidance available. Prioritise which system. Uh, let's get my multi tool sorted first. Analyze phase offline. Repair sequence initiated. Roach on the couch. <laughs> So yeah, uh, how's everybody been lately then? What's everybody been up to? What's everybody think of E3 so far? It's always an exciting time of year, especially for us uh, gamers. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, that's it, you scan me. Scan me all you want. 
Ah, no. Oh, leave me alone. Go away. Say this is not the greatest start I've ever had. Oh, are you kidding me? Man, what are you doing? Hiding my ship for a second. Ah, uh, Hidden Dragon says it's pretty sweet so far. So, uh,. Actually, you say pretty sweat so far, but, <laughs> but yeah. What have you uh, What have you liked so far, or what have you liked most from uh, E3 so far? Uh, I'm also playing on normal mode. I hope to God that is where uh, the TCC is going to be <laughs> located. say E3 has been pretty exciting so far. Oh yeah, I bet they are sweating Alpha. <laughs> I bet you're sure Moore is sweating just thinking about uh, thinking about next coming out soon. Not got long left I'll tell you that. It's all exciting stuff as well. Sweating money. <laughs> oh game devs are always sweating money. Always. Good. Oh god. Ugh, where to begin setting myself up for the TCC now? It's going to be a monumental journey again. Pretty cool looking creatures here, I will admit. Looking forward to finding out if Cobra's going to be streaming tonight. I know he usually does on a uh, on a Tuesday. I'm kind of hoping he's going to do a uh, Patreon uh, chat just before the stream as well. Because I'm yet to get into one. I uh, I would like to get in there and meet a few of the other uh, patrons. To be fair. I'm sure that there is a building in that area. Okay, so... I need to get a ship fixed up, which is going to be... To uh, six carat sheet and iridium. So let's get me some iron. Okay, so where's all the iron at? Iron, look at that. 
Oh, I couldn't believe that I didn't even realise that uh, scanning items when it uh, tells you what it's secondary secondary elements is and it actually gives it you every time you uh, you mine it then I couldn't believe it in there. You got a hands down to chaos for uh, telling me that good nugget of information. Inventory management or uh, what? Uh, I don't need you on there. There. Evening, I shall keep on them. Okay. Yeah, the, how are you planning on travelling to uh, the TCC? Hidden. Are you just going to use the portal to jump there? I'm saying, isn't it? TTC. Oh, if you're talking about my thumbnail, I accidentally misspelled it. <laughs> I have corrected it, don't worry. It just doesn't show up in the links that I've uh, sent out. We're travelling the old way for now. Is that using the uh, Pilgrim Starmer? find using the uh, the talk of star map to be so confusing. So many people have said it's like really easy to use but I don't know maybe it's just me. Why well, do we not find it easy at all? <laughs> I see I have uh, up to five viewers now. Welcome to uh, a few new viewers. Thank you for coming along. Joining my stream. I hope you like what you see. Ah, oh, right, you're just uh, travelling to the centre at the moment, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, will this be my new save? And I already pumped like 150 hours into my previous save and then made a mistake of going to a new galaxy. I, um, I think I will be doing that little blip exploit that, that has been set up. Just so that I can get them quicker. Ooh, you look pretty cool. We're gonna way too yep, way too expensive. Not even gonna tease myself by looking at it. The warrior's nostrils flare as I approach. They inhale deeply and bark out what could be a warning. I hurriedly mind that I am peaceful and know little of their kind or language. They take a second to think, then grab my motor tool while barking again to my visor, streaking it with saliva. They point at the indicator that shows which elements I carry. I do know be my best to keep calm. Ooh, do I give them iron or do I give them carbon? I'll give you a bit of iron. Uh, at least I learned a bit of their language from that then. Can't go wrong with that. Ooh. Hello there. I was really travelling towards the centre before that. This going to be the first time to get there. I've never actually been to the centre myself. When I uh, when I went to the new galaxy, it was through doing the Atlas path, um, and I ended up making a choice, and it basically sent me into a new galaxy. It was pretty cool, I will admit, you know, like, I'm, I'm glad I did do it, because I haven't, haven't even been to a new galaxy yet, so. Being able to go to one was pretty awesome. But then I remembered, oh wait, it's in the uh, Euclid. Where the TCC is going to be, so therefore, I kind of need to, uh, kind of need to make a new save. But, fingers crossed, they will be making it so that you can jump back to previous galaxies with the uh, next coming out. That would be pretty damn awesome, I will admit. Hmm. Oh, that's a 
Okay. Yeah, I uh Oh hey Sword, how you doing mate? Glad to see you jumped into chat. Uh yes Alpha, I'm quite sure it's in the Euclid. Which um Yeah, well hopefully it's now that I've started a new save anyway, I'll be pretty annoyed if it isn't. So sore, how are you doing though? Uh, I've not not seen you for a while, I've not had a chance to jump into any of your streams either. I know uh, Semtex seemed a bit lonely without you. Oh, I do not look forward to having to earn money again. I find farming to be one of the most tedious things to do on a you No know, Man's Sky. I quite enjoy building the base and building the farm up and that. But, uh, yeah, I find it can be a bit tedious at times. Oh, oh fuck, I'm losing my clock, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Get my shit off the ground first. I'm gonna find some hungry Two seconds before the message must go back. Yeah, I, uh, I look forward to seeing another one of uh, yours and Semtex's moves and space videos again, or streams. I quite enjoy watching those. They work well together, the two of you. Could cheat right now and just buy the Iridium. Ooh, pretty cool looking shit. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's see if he's sending any Iridium. Do do do. Because my inventory is full, god damn it. Oh, these are the things that I hate about starting new games. Um, shit, fuck, I have nothing. No space to do anything. Don't worry. Uh, driving at the moment, well. <laughs> uh, uh, so you're watching my stream and driving. <laughs> Make sure you stay safe, both hands on the wheel. I'd rather not find out that anything bad's happened. But I'm glad that you've uh, that you've, you've put on my stream whilst you're driving. The warrior looks at me with fire in its eyes. This species is clearly aggressive, and I doubt I'm welcome. Probably not with a Viking. Probably not. Nonetheless, the life form bows in greeting, tradition and honour perhaps dictates it. I don't feel in danger, and I'm about to turn and leave when a creature points towards my molten door. They bark with concern and makes a motion to suggest that I should hand it over. Yes, because I have a feeling you're going to give me a better molten door. Ooh, okay, yeah, hell of a lot more slots. I'll um, definitely take that. Thank you very much. I'm not going to say no. All I've got to do is build my... Which is it to repair these? Oh, I can't spend that just yet. Build my visor. Oh, God. Ten and two sword. What do you mean by that, Alpha?
uh, what games are uh, what game is everybody excited for with uh, with E3 being being on and whatnot? Obviously, I know everybody's excited and thrilled for No Man's Sky next. I mean, who isn't? Unfortunately, we didn't see anything in uh, E3, but I did kind of think that would happen anyway. Your hands have to be 10 and 2 on the wheel. Alright. Alright, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I get you. I don't drive, so... I don't know all the uh, driving linger. <coughs> Threatened warrior buys my silence. Well, thank you, thank you. One plus one, uh, one times two, two, two times three is six. Please don't be a f crash freighter. Right, well, I just don't know driving Lingo Alpha. I need to be able to drive where I live. It's a very remote area, so if you don't drive, uh, you're very limited to what you can do. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hey, Ivy Mike. How you doing, man? Great to have you here. Yeah, I'm uh, just currently starting my new save for my... Uh, Journey towards the TCC. Some of the ships in No Man's Sky remind me of uh, the ships from, from Halo. Like the Pelicans and the, uh, and the hover ships as well. exciting stuff with E3, I am still, I'm hoping that we will get a trailer for next through Waking Titan, because I know there's still a few things that haven't been unlocked on that yet, so I'm, I'm holding out hope that one of those things will be, um, will be a trailer, or at least a tiny little gameplay, something just to tease me and keep me, to, keep me holding out until next is actually released. At the moment, time seems to be dragging. Really does. Oh, wow. Yeah, the definitely exciting. Definitely a few games that I've seen that I'm excited for, and my wallet is already uh, cursing with me right now. I think I've probably spent my next couple of months' wages before I've even got them. But you know, isn't that what uh, gaming's all about? Oh, God damn it. Really need to get more slots in my inventory, I'm telling you. Doing my nothing. Right. I haven't seemed to see uh, much Fabium on this planet yet, which I don't like. We all know that Fabium is a vital source in No Man's Sky. Oh, awesome. Okay, so that is my ship repair. All full functions. Can we run in? Alright, let's grab a few more things and then we shall journey on. Like I said, I'm probably gonna uh, probably gonna stick to the store of the missions for a little while just so I can try and sort of get myself up and running as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, my phone is going crazy right now. Oh, hey, Panda Poopy. <laughs> How you doing, mate? Glad to have you here. I can't say that I've ever seen you on one of my streams before, so yeah, that's awesome, man. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. Uh, Hidden Dragon says, I guess the third bit is a trailer on the day of release. Is that the, uh, the third file, the third hologram file? Because uh, that's what I was thinking as well, that maybe it's going to be going to be a little trailer or something. Which would be, like, well, damn awesome if it was. But I just, I want it now. Like, killing me not knowing. I want to see this beautiful game and what they've done to it, man. Because I find it hard to believe that there's much you can do to it to make it better than what it already is now. I love the game as it is. Yeah, it's, it's definitely what I was thinking as well, Hidden, definitely. It was something that popped into my mind after E3 and, you know, the fact that we didn't see it. See the E3, I thought maybe they were holding out themselves. And I, uh... <laughs> I see Sword Nose Panda. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, ooh, never seen a, uh, place like this before, in an abandoned room like this. And, yeah, what was it I was going to say? Yeah, uh, I saw a, um, whatchamacallit, a tweet earlier, or uh, it might have been yesterday, and it was somebody saying that, you know, it makes sense that Sean Murray and Hello Games didn't do a trailer or anything, because of how much hype is building up building up around around No Man's Sky again and like the last thing they'd want is to come on stage or for No Man's Sky to be shown on stage at E3 and for it to be booed off which I highly doubt it would but it's a possibility and for something like that to happen would definitely uh, would definitely you know throw a, throw a wrench into the works like so I think they're going to do it themselves and they're going to release it when they want to release it to us community and then let us spread the news about it let us spread the trailer about it and tell everybody what next is gonna be what No Man's Sky has become uh, had I the senses to taste the air of this planet I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien of the tour but nothing could store my curiosity was it dead? where I touched it the surface was moist and yielding it seemed to become motile then crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. Yes, yes, you should have. And the looks of that goo, I don't know why you'd touch it anyway. Discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveller's data log. Something that's been left that will aid me on my own journey. And my inventory is full. What a surprise. Oh, damn it, I really need to find a uh, drop pod. Or something. Ah, this is what I like. I love seeing my chat full. I was literally saying to Alpha before I started my stream. You know, it gives me a sense of pride and a sense of satisfaction to see my chat full and see you guys chatting to each other. Oops. Had a bit of a lag there. Serious lag. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, what, what's going on? I hope that isn't your final word and you were safe at home now. That's a good point, actually. I hope you didn't scream panda while swerving into a bush or a tree. <laughs> uh, just saying hello, boys. How are you all? Hello, uh, Godsmat. Glad to have you here, man. Great to have you along. Yeah, I think this is like the fullest I've ever seen in my chat room. I love it, like, really do. Thank you all for coming along. This means so much to me. Really does. Uh, kind of sort of soft release, like I've been saying, and let the gameplay speak for itself. Yeah, definitely, man. I definitely think that would be the best option, to be honest. 
as much as I wanted a trailer and as much as I was hoping to see a trailer, I do definitely believe that would be the best option. But then, for Hello Games and Sean Murray. Definitely the image I had in mind as well, Alpha. <laughs> Just a uh, panda! Whoa! Hands to the wheel! Hands to the wheel! Football and beer. Oh man, you can't go wrong. Well, I'm not exactly a huge football fan myself, but you know, I have a uh, game playing beer or streaming and beer. But yeah, man, definitely you cannot top that. And uh, yes. Hello fellow Kobos, I welcome you all to my uh, my version of the Euclid. Uh, okay, so let's go back to my ship, can have enough plutonium to be able to fill it up. Yeah, let's head back to my ship and then I'm gonna go explore that crash site just to see if I can get a, uh, a better ship. And then um, I'll venture into space and we'll get this story started. Ooh, ooh, my first bit of Famium. Hello there. Uh, definitely be taking you. Yes, ooh, another bit of Famium. God, you find one bit, you find it all. Yeah. At least the good thing I've got with uh, with this stream right now is I don't have work until... Actually, I'm off tomorrow, so, you know, that's all good. And yeah, there's no chance of me being late because I'm frantically trying to get the money for a ship. Which, yeah, uh, <laughs> was, was extremely funny. My, my excuse for uh, being late was there was stuff to be done and I had to get it done. More important stuff than my job right now. So I hope you all know that, you know, you guys mean that much to me. But I gotta say, since I've been streaming the past couple of weeks, like, work drags me every day because I just look forward to coming home and doing a bit of streaming, sorting out some other stuff for my streams, sorting some stuff up, some video editing. I, um, I really want to try and get into a bit more at the moment. It's definitely something I enjoy. Again, with the assistance of Alpha, I've, um, I've been getting into, well, I've been practicing a bit with uh, photo editing and whatnot as well. So yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing some of my own, uh, my own video edit. At some point, I have got a little something that I'm working on at the moment, which I'm hoping to have done before next is released. Let's go see what this crash ship is. Oh, what my uh, excuse for work? Well, I. Uh, Sean Murray inspired me to do a lot of things and being late for work is definitely one of them. Like I said, there's more important matters to be done. <laughs> I shall head there in just a momentum. I don't know if this crash ship is going to be worth it. Yeah, I really can't wait for next. <coughs> can't wait for an overhaul. Like, I, I hope to God that they have done like, you know, so much to to the floor and the fauna, the planets, the biomes. Oh. So excited for it. Really am. Find the ship is this. Ooh, 
it's a little shell of shit. I've never really liked the shell of shit. It's a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. And it's currently glitched into this beacon as well. The cockpit is adorned with the trophies of dead creatures, perched on every available surface, and the control sits a tendril hunter, its body and face lacerated. Those goddamn lasso plants. The dank smell of blood assails my nostrils as I fight back the nausea. The black box reveals the pilot was attacked by something whilst in flight, but it's unclear what. I could strengthen the warning beacon in the cockpit, but it would leave me vulnerable to attacks. Um. Um, I'm going to actually search this ship for signs of life. I discover a ship technology, the creature that caused the carnage is thankfully long gone. Ooh, what we got to Sigma, now that is goddamn lucky. We usually end up spending ages looking for those upgrades. So I will take that any day of the week, definitely. Clusters, so I'm not going wrong with those either. I need to be stocking up for those because they're vital to find upgrades for uh, usually my warp drive as well. Yeah, jammy bastard, that I am indeed. I got it on my um, one of my last saves as well. I can't remember which one it was now. I'm sure it's my permadeath mode on my uh, on my PS4. I ended up getting it, getting quite lucky with them lately. Um. I'm really not going to take that. I'm sorry, but shuttles just do not do anything for me. They're not the most uh, amazing looking ships, in my opinion. Then we shall head off to the, uh, the signal beacon and we shall process a story, get on to Artemis. Hopefully find those first few glyphs fairly quickly. I would like to have that done before I uh, come off today. But we shall see how long I stream for. Like I said, I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm hoping that I'll... Uh, Cooper will be streaming today, or tonight, at some point. Uh, Panda Infinite, you're using Filmora Wondershare, right? Um, I do use Filmora, uh, Filmora Wondershare, yes. It was something that was recommended to me. Oh, wait, actually, was it? Was it you that recommended it to me, Panda? I honestly can't remember. It's been a while since I had that conversation. But yeah, I do quite like it. It's quite good video editing software, to be fair. It's quite cheap as well. Was oh thank you Panda. I'm so sorry that when you jumped into my stream, I said I've not seen you before. Oh God, I feel like a right dickhead there. No, I appreciate that, man. I do like it, and it's quite easy to get used to. And uh, you can do quite a few good things with it. I've quite enjoyed working with it so far. As you've uh, probably seen my my uh, poem videos that I've done. If you need any help using it, yeah, definitely, mate. I definitely will. Um, I, uh, the thing that I'm going to be working on at the moment is yeah, it's sort of similar to the ones that I've done before, but I want to do sort of like a No Man's Sky video montage of um, just loads of different planets and you know, just generally chilling in No Man's Sky and you know, going around and enjoying it. Um, and a video montage is something that I've not really done much on. I've done like pictures and like the images and whatnot, but I haven't worked much with uh, videos on it. Oh, you mean Mike? What is Wondershare? It's a uh, video editing software that you can you can download and you can trial, um, and then it's it's actually quite cheap to buy as well. And it um, it really does work well. Like honestly, Panda told me told me to look into it. And I'm so glad I did because it's if you've never done video editing before, it's definitely something I'd recommend looking at with a free trial to begin with. 
just to um, get grips with it, like, to see what you think of it, because it, it's very easy to learn, and there's a lot of YouTube videos out there to show you how to use it and how to use all the different functions on it. <laughs> Alpha says he uses too many video editors. Yeah, I wish I. Uh, I may, I may very well dabble into a few more of the free ones at some point. But um, at the moment, I'm still getting to grips with like doing video editing, and you know, I want to try and start making them look, like, make my videos look a bit more professional and that, and actually have like my logo integrated into it and stuff like that. So. Yeah, the, you're definitely right there, Panda. Like, I think it cost me fifty quid for um, or fifty pound, and that's for lifetime license. So I've got that for good and all future updates. And it's definitely, um, definitely good for beginners as well. Um, so here we are. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Did it break apart and impact? I wonder. Or was it already sundered when it began its final descent? Um, whilst I am currently stuck in this little chat, I'm just going to pop downstairs and grab myself a drink. Let's lock those commands into there. Um, please tell me as well if my music I have playing on my videos is too loud uh, as I'm still in the process of adjusting them. Okay, I'm back guys, thank you for bearing with me, just to top it off for all you Cobras out there, I am currently drinking Cobra, a very nice alcoholic beverage, Ugh. okay so let's continue. Nestled among the debris, I find the captain's, uh, the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Request for log. 
dramatic music queued. Ship logs requested, accessing. Instead of displaying the ship's logs, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Big flight. The schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. I shall definitely take that blueprint. I'll pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. So there we are, I've got my uh, hyperdrive. <laughs> uh, lol, you were drinking Cobra. Luckily there is a webcam. Yes, that is very lucky. I would not want people getting the wrong idea here. <laughs> I'm drinking Hendrix Gin and Sonic. Cheers, mate. Yeah, ching ching. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Who's, uh, who's hoping for a bit more uh, depth into the lore with Nets? I know I definitely am. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the lore and the story and that at the moment. But I'd love for, um, I'd love for some proper in-depth lore and maybe perhaps different, instead of just having just the one main story splitting off and like having a little story or lore um, for the Gek and then one for the Viking, one for the Corvax that you can sort of work through that properly teaches you about the past and yeah, you know, things like that. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Definitely down for that. Yeah, man. Um, if if you guys are enjoying this video so far and like you're liking what you see and you'd like to see more content, then please make sure to subscribe and um, please drop a like on this uh, this stream as well if you haven't already done so. It'd be greatly appreciated. I really am, really am trying my best to. Uh, stream as much as I can and you know try and, try and get content that people want to see out there I'm trying to be a bit professional about it as well I say a bit because I'm, I'm very very rarely uh, professional as I say I'm, I'm late to my job just because I'm frantically trying to buy a ship in a game but priorities and all that Yeah, it's a very powerful software, MZK, uses Vegas Pro. Alright, what's, uh, what's Premiere? I'll have to um, look into that. Uh, I know, but Garlic 3 used to help on regional internet. Easy. They gave me, they gave it me, um, got it. Gave me it, got it on a hard drive. Uh, Alpha Pixel says, hell yeah to more lore, yeah, damn straight man, like, you can never go wrong with more lore and more story, it's always good, always. Bit more, uh, bit more context to delve into, and more things to discover. Uh, Panda is definitely down for more lore also, plus the Wake of Titan lore is fresh as fuck, love that whole thing. Have you, uh, have you been following the Wake and Titan and the ALG and that then, Panda, or have you uh, recently just started delving into it? I do think it'd be pretty cool if they somehow uh, somehow merged the lore of the ARG and Wake and Titan into um, the actual in-game lore. Like, I think that'd be freaking amazing if they managed to do that. Hidden Dragon, Mayor of Powerful PC, Adobe Premiere Law. Leading expensive. Uh, yes, currently don't have the money at the moment. Ooh, flying creatures. Yeah, let me scan you. Quickly do a bank heist, guys. Let's rob this little place. <coughs> so, uh, Panda, do you do much uh, video editing then, like, 
if you've got a YouTube channel, so I'm not sure if I'm actually subscribed to, and if I'm not, like, um, either drop it in Cobra's Discord, or if, you, if you'd if you like, join uh, Alpha's Discord, mine and Alpha's Discord, so we, uh, we do our monthly talk show and that. Uh, monthly, weekly talk show. And uh, you can always drop a couple of topics in there, or jump on chat with us, like, it, it's up to you. Yeah, if you've ever got any topics, and what not, uh, cut the camera feed. Hidden pants, yeah. Oh, yes, I'm definitely, uh, I am definitely sub to you. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested in, um, in joining our Discord either way, Alpha Pips is right there. As a, uh, well, he's attempting to put in the right command. <laughs> Don't worry, you ain't missing nothing. Well, what what things do you put on your uh, on your YouTube channel? Because um, I imagine like you seem to be quite well endowed into your video editing and whatnot. So I imagine you you must have some pretty decent stuff on there. I mean, you know a hell of a lot more than me, and I mean the stuff that I've put on there for my video editing is very mediocre, like very beginner. But I love learning new skills and since I've got into streaming and dabbing and video editing, image editing, it, it really is like an, an unknown passion that I've had and I've always wanted a decent hobby and something to kill time and this is definitely something I love doing. Like, nothing better than bringing enjoyment to, to all the viewers that come along to view my stream so I really do appreciate it. <coughs> you know one thing that I wish they'd um, bring back, because I'm sure it was like it before, actually being able to see like the creatures that you've discovered in in a larger image. So at the moment you get stuck with this tiny little image and I'd love to see them on a larger scale and actually <gasps> look around them. Sorry. Started getting hiccups there. Well, you say I haven't missed much, <laughs> haven't missed much, but it seems like I've missed quite a bit. <coughs> no, I'll, um, I'll definitely have to jump over to your channel. I'll, um, I might do it after I finish this stream, and whilst I'm waiting to see if Cobra goes live tonight, I'll definitely give him some watches, man. Drop you some likes. I'd love to see some of the stuff that you do um, with video editing, so I can sort of. I'm hoping it'll sort of spark a couple of ideas in my head. Infinite Gamer, yeah exactly, but there is an unused hollow terminal for displaying that for our bases, if I remember correctly. What, like a, a, um, a hollow terminal that you can build at your base? Because that would actually be pretty sweet, man. You like, you get a hollow terminal, you build it, and uh, oh yeah, I'm wondering if I'm confused now. But either way, man, if it, like if that isn't what you meant, that would be a cool idea. You can go and you can upload all of your discoveries there, and then you can actually have like images of certain creatures. So if you found this really amazing, unique creature, you can have it displayed as a hologram inside of your base. That'd be goddamn awesome, man. <laughs> That'd be sick. You know, here I go, hyping myself up again and building my expectations up. Uh, Panda says you can come on one day, and we can do a couple, couple of sub drives, introduce you to some of the fellas that on my end yeah man yeah that'd be friggin awesome man definitely friggin hell man <laughs> fair play that's goddamn awesome yeah man i'd appreciate that i'd love to jump on with you i'm down for chatting with anyone and any everyone like always out for getting to know no new people. I mean, at the moment, I've just through Cobra's Discord and like through streaming, I've met 
so many amazing people and so many people have helped me out with stuff as well so you know I really do love this community there's something about No Man's Sky that breeds amazingness it really does that's why I'm quite glad that Cobra's managed to uh, sort out all of this malarkey going on with the uh, galactic hub as well it's like to me uh, to me no uh, uh, the community the no man's sky community became a part of the game for me like it, it it wasn't just playing no man's sky anymore it was playing it and experiencing it with this huge and vast community of amazing people but lately it really seems like to me that there's there's too much hate going around at the moment, man. And why? Like we don't even we don't even know what next is yet. So I think it's best to push everything, all expe expectations aside, or you know, be hyped for the game. Definitely, I'm hyped for it. But keep your expectations low, because then that way, no matter what's released with next, you're gonna be happy. And you're gonna have the best of both worlds. I just hope this this whole war malarkey and all this hate, I hope it goes away at some point. Because it, to me it's ruining the game, it really is. I know a lot of people will probably laugh at that, but... Community is something that has definitely become a big thing for me in No Man's Sky. Uh, also, I'm a huge fan of Needs and Space and Semtex and Sword. You haven't checked well out, it's wicked, give them the button click as well. Oh yeah, trust me, I'm already sub to uh, Semtex and Sword. I've jumped on for a couple of, I haven't actually been on chat with them, but I've, uh, I've, I've watched a couple of their streams and they are really good, man. I do really like Moods and Space, I will admit. Really well done. They have said to me that they'd, um, they'd like for me to come on one day and maybe... Uh, like jump on the PS4 and jump into chat with them, which I'm definitely down for doing that. If you're still there, sword as well, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he is. I'm getting worried that he's actually might have crashed now because uh, he hasn't messaged in for a while. <laughs> I'm hoping something bad didn't happen. <laughs> and yes, Panda, you're definitely right. Uh, we do have the best community in gaming and it is such a shame to see everybody turning on each other. It really is, man. Like, it's it's quite sad, but it breaks my heart. <clears throat> like, I've met so many awesome people through this game and... To, to see it going down like this and all the hate being thrown around. And I know a lot of people say it's roleplay, but... Some of it I can believe is roleplay, but a lot of it isn't, man. And there's no need for it. Everybody's just out to enjoy a beautiful game, whether it's killing other players or not. Everyone just wants to experience it, and that's, that's the important thing, and everybody needs to remember that, man. We're all out to experience the same game in whatever way we see fit. But, yeah, that's, that's just me rambling on again. Um... Need to sell something to make some money. Uh, uh. See if I can make some bypass chips. Oh, I need more iron. God damn it. <coughs> Kendall Safework, that was a great day. Oh, hey Kendall, I didn't even notice you jump in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you are lurking, definitely. <laughs> Didn't even notice you was there. Hey, man, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. And yeah, I've uh, just heard from Panda the amazing amazing amount of subs that you had from going live with them. Like, that's awesome, mate. Congrats to you. Like, I'm aiming to hit um, 100 subs myself by, by the 24th before next is relief. I, I really do want to wanna hit that. I just think it'd be be amazing just to have a hundred subs. I mean, I've just just today, thanks to um, Liam, 
<coughs> I jumped into one of his streams and he did a little shout out for me and that got me another four subs which took me over my 50 mark like I'm I'm over halfway there and it I'm ecstatic about that I really am like it's amazing and I'm actually like I'm I'm really amazed today because this has got to be the best stream I've had so far for current viewers I've had up to 13 I think my top amount was it at one point and I'm still at eight now and like honestly man like I keep saying it but thank you all for coming along and thank you all for sticking by it as well it means so much to me um I need one of these goddamn dynamic resonators but I don't want to sell any of the stuff that I've got um what can I do with both can I do with both not a problem, Kendall. And yeah, Panda, I am definitely hoping that I'll hit that. I mean, I'm, I'm going solid so far. I've been streaming properly for probably about two weeks now, and I've managed to get up to 50, I think 53 subs now. Which, you know, I'm really happy about that. And it's all thanks to, you know, like Alpha and um, Lily Hot from the No Man's Sky calf and my brother. I can't get it out enough that my brother is the one that has pushed me so much to to stream and you know to try my hands at this and i'm so grateful to him for doing that because i really do enjoy this so much and i enjoy getting to know all you guys ah, i can do that tuning in. all of you guys streaming no matter how big or small your channels have helped to keep this game alive Hello Games knows this. Next will make your nipples mad hard. <laughs> oh god damn it, Panda. Uh, but yeah, you are right there. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, you've all jumped out there, you've all shown what No Man's Sky is now, and you've all helped basically uh, publish and get No Man's Sky name back out there because there was a dark point with it and it seems to be coming back now. I mean, watching the video that um, that Cobra did, where um, yes, where he was getting people to uh, to jump into the Xbox, like the extra Xbox E3 video, like, and everyone was jumping in, shouting No Man's Sky. You know, no abuse, no trolling, nothing like that. Just you know, an awesome comment about No Man's Sky and. You know, fair play, there was a lot of people that jumped in there, and, and they did it. And like, it's amazing to see that the community really is sticking together like that. And, um, I have no doubt, no doubt at all, Panda, that next will definitely make my nipples hard. I know that too well. Um, <laughs> I never thought I'd say that live on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Alpha, don't forget to sub, guys, if you haven't, and like if you like it. An Infinite Gamer works hard for this, and pressing the like button is all the thanks he needs. Thank you so much, Alpha. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Um, yeah, like, thank you so much, man. Like, making me blush here. And yeah, honestly, what Alpha said there is right. All it takes is one like, and that is the appreciation. That's enough for me. I, I'm, I ain't in this for money or anything like that. I'm in this because I enjoy doing this. I enjoy playing games, and you know what's better than playing games than playing them and chatting to an amazing viewer and like, uh, viewers as you guys, man. It's awesome. And. I hope to one day, you know, be as big as like Cobra and L Plays and MZK and Ray Rod and all those guys and have my name out there and, you know, have a loyal follow base, follower base. It really means so much to me. So thank you so much, Alpha. Oh God, Alpha. Honestly. Uh, Alpha. Panda lol. I don't think my t-shirts can handle that. <laughs> I dread to think how big your nipples are then. Alpha. Like damn. Must be like 50 caliber bullets when they go hard. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Panda, I was subscribed to your channel, but now I clicked that bell, buddy, because I've seen firsthand now that you're a great streamer. Oh, thanks, man, honestly. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I jumped on the stream today because I'm getting so much love from you guys, and it's. I've had a hard, a hard week um, last week with working constant hours and just, you know, personal life issues and whatnot, but I'm not going to bore you with it. But it was a hard week, and to start this week off and have an amazing, amazing thing said about me like that is it is amazing. Thank you so much. Next, we'll have me on on the bench in a bar at bikini, <laughs> booty clapping, of course. Oh, for God's sakes, man. <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence. Uh, <laughs> That honestly, Panda. If you manage to do that, I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll but please stream that because that is something I would definitely come and view. Because I would love to see somebody booty clap the corks off of champagne bottles. You would have made my life complete. Well, after next is released, and then my life would be complete. Uh, <laughs> Perfect error. Effect error. Um, <laughs> oh god, oh man, this has been such a funny stream, I'm like almost crying here. Machine gun jubblers. <laughs> My nips are like pepperoni. 50 caliber bullet, so shit I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Round and tasty. Oh god man, seriously, you guys are cracking me up. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh, thank you so much, man. There's nothing more than than seeing a full YouTube chat and seeing a full YouTube chat talking about nipples. <laughs> oh God, you've made my day, guys. Honestly, you made my day. Oh, oh God, I'm tired. Ooh. So I need to get myself some Heridium. So let's go see what some of these uh, other planets are like in this system. So where's the one I've already discovered? Unknown moon. Bleak moon, cactus flesh. Barren planet, Captor's Flesh, oh my god man, is this just going to be a Captor's Flesh system? What is that little light shining at the bottom right of my uh, ship? <laughs> uh, oh my god, this really is just Captor's Flesh, three planets in a row and they're all Captor's Flesh. Oh my god, god sakes. Wait, what? I mean, I discovered that. Uh, uh, okay. What? What? Okay, do, can somebody tell me if I'm... You have to call the next planet Pepperoni Nips. <laughs> uh, I will, don't worry, I will. <laughs> Oh god. The nipple system. Um, but yeah, okay. Somebody else tell me if I'm seeing this correct. I'm right by my space station right now. And then I go over here. And apparently the space station is 1 minute and 16 seconds away. Am I just seeing things or... Or am I going crazy? Last time I was in the UK, I drank a beer in Tor Point at a place called The Standard. It was called Cornish Doom Bar. <laughs> I think I actually sell them in the uh, the shop that I work in, Panda. Cornish Doom Bar. Doom Bar is quite nice. I'm, I'm gonna go see what this is. Because I'm so confused. Oh, it's disappeared. Okay. Okay, it was just a glitch. Okay. Not going crazy. Ooh. 
Yeah, there definitely is Alpha Man. There is definitely um, some weird stuff going on. I'm hoping it's because the um, cause they're messing around with the servers and whatnot, ready for next. I'm hoping. You know, it's probably unlikely whilst we're still playing it. You'd expect them to take it down for maintenance, but you never know. Oh, I need to give myself some iron. Because, um, I do know that <coughs> recently there's been quite a few people messaging to COVID's Discord saying about um, that they're trying to visit other people's bases, but as soon as they seem to enter the atmosphere of said person's base, it then pops up saying that they're they're playing offline. Which is a bit bizarre, like. And I'm sure a few people have tried testing it out and it's doing the same for all of them. It'll say they're online straight until they go into the atmosphere of somebody else's planet their planet or base. Yeah, I wonder whether they are messing around with some things. Just not letting us know. And uh, after five or six points, I went walking around until I ended up in this guy's flat. Who I ended up smoking hash with <laughs> until I got paranoid. <laughs> uh, last thing I remember, me and this girl were laughing, puke. Puking off the ferry to Plymouth. <laughs> oh, to be young again. <laughs> oh, damn, man, there, that is a story. Oh my god, man, this chat is so awesome. Thank you guys for being here, man. <laughs> you are making my day, honestly. I couldn't have asked for a better, better audience right now. Oop, no, spinning a bit too much. So, uh, let's go down to the Paradise Planet, where the grass is orange, and the creatures are uh, going to be everywhere, I'm hoping. Uh! God, too fast. So, um, has anybody else used the, uh, oh, for God's sake, I'm freaking trapped. Come on, boost. Oh my God, what happened there? Uh, okay. Uh, sounds like something in train spotting. It definitely does, Alpha. <laughs> really does. <coughs> Maybe that's where they got the idea for uh, Train Spotting 2 from. They just messaged Panda and uh, asked what he got up to in his youth. <laughs> but um, yeah, did anybody else use the uh, the low flight mod that uh, that you could get for this? I'm just wondering what else, um, like if anybody else would like the idea of being able to actually sort of crash land into a planet. So like. Maybe not explode as soon as you crash into it, but like actually take damage from it. And you know, stuff like that. So I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. I do like the idea of that. Uh, Panda. Oh my God, I love this planet. It looks like a midnight is Fanta commercial. <laughs> you know when you've been tangoed. <laughs> I'm quite sure that's for tango, not for Fanta, but. Yeah, I'll go with it. <laughs> um. Oh, actually, was you saying uh, Tango due to the fact of all the orange? In which case, yes, yes, very right. Although, now that I've landed, it is more yellow than orange. But it is a nice planet, I will admit. I do like some of the paradise and the lush planets. I might do a, uh, I might try and do a little video montage of uh, a load of Paradise Planets and have uh, Paradise City playing in the background. <laughs> they are all orange, don't split hairs. <laughs> but I did die yesterday in a permadeath save crashing into a rock tower on a planet. Oh damn! Oh man, that must have sucked, Kendall. <laughs> I feel for you. Um, a red and jagged and recent bite mark is wrapped around the entirety of the warrior's neck. Bull marks scar their chest and their suit's restoration heat and healing systems are blinking off light. 
See, I kind of wish that when you read in this, like, he's just gone and said that there's a red, jagged, and recent bite mark that is wrapped around the whole of his neck. And, like, the bottom of his neck looks red, but it doesn't look like no bite mark or anything. So I'd actually like to see a bite mark there, <laughs> if you get what I mean, like. Maybe a gash in his, his chest plate on his armour, you know. The life form barks contentedly at me, satisfied by their narrow victory. It's clear, however, that the warrior's injures, uh, injuries are severe. They have trouble breathing. Um, I would restore your suit, dude, but I ain't got enough carbon, so I'll share my oxygen with you. Right, and then they thank me. No, oh, no, no worries, dude. No worries. Be quite nice for a call that. Um, yeah, trying to get myself some uh, iridium. Um. <laughs> Kendall, no! <laughs> we shall call this day Kendall Rises. <laughs> Permadeath scares me. Could not move away from the initial impact. Oh, that's wounding Kendall, honestly, man. Especially in a Permadeath save. Like, that's, that's truly gutting. And, uh, Panda, honestly, permadeath ain't as scary as you think. Like, when I was, uh, considering doing the permadeath stream for my first live stream, people were telling me it probably wasn't a good idea because it's extremely hard. But I went ahead, I did it, and I'm still alive now. I'm on my, I think my next episode will be my fifth episode of it, which I do need to do again at some point. Yeah, man, it's, um, as long as you take your time with it and you don't rush and remember not to sprint and, like, constantly jetpack and all that sort of stuff, you know, you'll be fine. I would love if one of the NPCs just says, talk to the hand, and there's a hand-shaped terminal in the corner. <laughs> uh, that would be rather amusing. Uh, oh god. It's gonna be um, pretty hard trying to find some Heridian. I think I'm gonna have to build a signal booster for this. Oh! Is this another uh, crash ship terminal? Please, please let it be. Yes, it is. Please don't be a crash freighter. 23 plus 23 minus 1 is 45. 45 plus 45 minus 1 is 89. 89 plus 89 minus 1 is 177. Um <coughs> uh, goddamn freight across site. I can't do nothing with the freighters at the moment. They're completely pointless to me. Uh oh well. Oh well. We have to see a creature on this planet. Very bizarre. Ooh, plutonium. Being Johnny Jetpack is not a good plan in permadeath. No, you're definitely right there. It took me a while um, to get out the habit of doing like the uh, sprint and jetpack boost, to, like boost forward quick. I kept doing that, and like the amount of times I was close to dying was ridiculous. Uh, hands down to um, chaos control. Like one of the dudes who was, he was always in in my permadeath streams and he was better than my life support he'd be messaging me constantly oh life support life support hazard protection you're about to die run hide predator oh amazing Ooh, is this another transmission terminal well i got that observatory But yeah, Pandy, you should definitely give Permadef a go. Just give it a go on your own. Turn down the light. Put on a candle. Crack open a beer. Nice bottle of wine. Or maybe pop open a bottle of champagne with your butt claps. You know, <laughs> whichever tickles your fancy. Um, and, uh, uh, 
try permadeath cage match. I keep seeing people going on about it and I um, I am intrigued by it so I may give that a try, try one day. And uh, here you are, Alpha, just like you wanted. Um, oh, that's not going to let me freaking type though, is it? Why are you not letting me type? Book clips. You can't go wrong with some book clips. Oh, what's it doing? Okay, so. Pear. How do you spell pepperoni? Two B's? Pepper. Roni? No, that doesn't look right. Pepperoni? <laughs> Butt claps. <laughs> uh, imagine if there was a chess or minesweeper mini game in the ship holograph, holographically or something. That would be pretty damn cool. Something just to bypass the time whilst you're like, got two minutes till you get to a planet or something. Oh wow, there's actually no fauna on this uh, planet. Okay, that's a bit dull. Uh, Replays of past matches are in the Gitnik Gang YouTube page. I'll uh, I'll definitely check them out, Kendall. I saw a couple of speaking earlier about them, and it it really does seem interesting. Like you got like what four hours? You both start a permadeath game, and uh, you've got to basically like get to your ship, go into space, fight pirates, and walk to another system. And then there's like a, a ranking or a point system involved, and it. it seems pretty cool. I'm really like lost right now. I'm gonna have to look at my phone and see how, how you spell pepperoni. Uh, pepperoni. Oh, it's uh, uh, yep, that's right. Okay, and then add in some nipples. God damn it! Am I spelling nipples wrong? No, no, I'm not. Sorry, man, bear with me. I won't be two seconds. I've got like so many messages right now. Oh, uh, you've posted up a video, Alpha. Getting the extreme survival milestone to seven. I'll give that a check later on. Um. <coughs> there we are pepperoni nipples for a paradise planet. I highly doubt anybody is going to be coming to this paradise planet. <laughs> Just pepper their only nipples everywhere. Um, nice, I think I've seen some of them I've seen last season for sure. Yeah, I'm sure you have told me a bit about it, Alpha, when we've been on chat together. Um, Panda, I tweeted your stream from my channel, Twitter, and Lily Hot retweeted. Let's hope something happens. Oh, thanks so much, Panda, like, honestly. Thank you so much. The support you guys give is just amazing. You got the basics of the match. The rules will change after the next drops to add any new features in. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Like, I'll definitely have to look into it, and I do look forward to seeing what they do with it to um, after next. Like, um, oh my god, yes! <laughs> is that to pepperoni nipples or to the, uh, the changing rules? It's fun to play and comment the matches. Yeah, I imagine it is. Lol, you actually did it. Of course I actually did it. Damn straight, man. Pepperoni nipples is officially on the map. Come explore. Journey through No Man's Sky and its vast universe just to get to the paradise planet known as 
pepperoni nipples. Panda says nipples. He is laughing at nipples. I don't know if I... Oh. Did I? Oh. Oh, it's a shame I haven't got my terrain manipulator. I could have like made a pair of nipples saying that people would probably just uh, think that they're a pair of boobs and then I'd get reported and probably banned from playing No Man's Sky for the rest of my life. Which would kill me. Oh, hey Jordan, how you doing mate? I'm doing good man, my stream's going well. We've had uh, some interesting topics of... Uh, conversation oh thank you so much Jordan for uh, subscribing everybody please hashtag Jordan 276 what a uh, what a bro man thank you so much for that oh, what do I need for a signal booster a bit more iron uh, great to have you here and uh, I hope you enjoy the content as well I really need to find a drop pod guys, like seriously. I might search for one when I search for Heridian as well. Yeah, getting annoying. Um, hashtag those tomatoes. <laughs> Pairing some new Ma No Man's Sky trailers. I did see my videos. Um uh, which ones? I, I see a lot of videos these days. Tired now, oh man, that ain't good. I'm wake myself up a bit. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm loving it. I really feel like my channel's starting to grow now. It's it's amazing, honestly, man. Um, if you were. Uh, Jordan, if you type in I, uh, exclamation mark IP, it will bring up the Discord that I'm, um, I'm a part of, and you can feel free to drop any videos that you uploaded or any videos that you've made into, um, into the streams and videos section in there. Uh, like, and uh, we're always welcoming new members to... Um, Mine and Alpha's channel as well, like we're really trying to grow it and we do want to keep it as a nice community and an amazing community and so far, so, you know, so far so good. And it hasn't just got to be No Man's Sky content that you put in there, it can be anything and everything, all gaming involved. Um... Panda, love your logo. Um, love whose logo, Panda? <coughs> Head to this drop pod, finally get myself some more... Uh, a bit more cargo space. Alpha says, awesome man, come to our Discord and share these, just accept the rules by clicking the check mark emoji on the rules in the welcome channel, yes, make sure you do that, read through the rules well, they're just, you know, basic standard rules, read through them, drop a uh, check mark on it, and yeah, drop your, drop your videos in there, we've got a few people in there ourselves who play No Man's Sky, Fair few people in there do, so. 
like I say, we're always welcoming new content. Uh, Panda, yours. Oh, thanks, mate. Um, I would love to take credit for it, but uh, to be fair, it was um, Lily Hop from the No Man's Sky Calf who actually originally made it, and then Alpha did some uh, tweaking work on it, and uh, yeah, like turned it into a, a proper logo for me. So, yeah, man, thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. The only annoying thing I've got at the moment is um, with my name, Infinite Gamer, there is a crap ton of other Infinite Gamers on YouTube. Like, I should have expected it really, but... And uh, I can't currently change my name for like another two months or something, so it's starting to annoy me a bit because I'm telling people to check me out. Um... Yeah, like I tell people to check me out and then they're messaging me back like, oh, which one are you? So, so I definitely wanted a unique a unique uh, logo so that I could sort of describe it to people so they could find me easily. And I definitely got that, I've, I've got to say. I also can't believe I'm not a mod on your stream, snub. Well, I do not have a clue how to make somebody a, no uh, a knob. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you are pretty much a knob as well, aren't you, Alpha? Nah, only jokes, bro. Only jokes. Um... But yeah, man, if you can show me how to make you a mod, Alpha, I'd definitely do that. It makes no odds to me, like. That just means I've got somebody watching my channel more often. Making sure uh, nobody's being indecent in the chat and whatnot. Uh, Panda Poopy. You say my channel used to be called... <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. Crouching Panda, Hidden Jew. <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't as catchy as a hidden panda show. <laughs> so I changed it. Uh, and you can mod them. Oh, what? So I can literally do it right now? Uh, let's go have a look at this. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, go back. Oh, Spellcheck's doing a live stream at the moment of uh, editing music festival promo. Yeah. Interesting. Um... Right, man, I'm trying to actually find my way back into the chat. Um, yeah. Doesn't seem to let me turn them into a into a mod and you can mod them. Ah! There you are, Alpha. You happy? Uh, I managed to source it. It's the three little dots on the, on the right of the name. You just click on those and then you have to scroll down a bit and it says there. Uh, there you are. You are now a moderator, Alpha. That means you have to come to every one of my streams and moderate. For your heart content. Um, and I have no doubt that that was actually the original name for your channel, Panda. And I actually think it's quite catchy. Coaching Panda Hidden G. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, God. Catch me up, man. Honestly, you guys have been a... Uh, Let's see that wrench, you sucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm a knob. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, no, you don't get any time off. Well, you do have time off. I work ten hours a, a day, five days a week. So, you know, I'm not going to be streaming constantly. So, you will have a few days off. But, you just, you wanted this. Don't whinge now that you got it. Um, where's that resource deposit disappeared to now? Just explore. 
further. Uh, what does actually giving somebody moderator rights do? Oh, I've just made Alpha a mod without even knowing what he could do for all I know he could like sabotage my channel. Well, you still have the bots, but the wrench makes me feel important. <laughs> if it makes you feel better. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. Um, that turn in real life would have killed you. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, it would have. I didn't even realise I was doing it for a while. I was sort of like staring somewhere else. I have a very bad tendency of doing that. I got told off by Urban um, on Sunday because apparently I kept looking away at all the best bits for a trailer for a Ghost of Tsushima or Tsushima. So he had a go at me and told me to stop looking away. He keeps saying the fauna is non-existent, but I'm sure that that place that I just landed at by that drop pod that I saw creatures walking around. I wasn't sure of it. Kick people out the chat, put people in timeout and flag and delete messages in. The responsibility is great, wield as well friend. Well, <coughs> in the name of Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Therefore, with Almighty Wrench by your name, means you can wrench people out of the chat. Or time out. What, what, what ship is that? Uh, I don't know why, but that looked like a uh, exotic ship to me. One of the... Um, I don't care for exorbitant. Uh, one of those squid ships. <coughs> that's pretty cool being able to make people uh, moderators like that. I didn't realise it was that easy either, to be honest. Actually just uh Actually that was Uncle Ben. Uh you know what, yeah, you are right there. And Ben, yes, you are right. We have a true uh, Uncle Ben fan in the uh in the chat. Screw Spider-Man, he got Uncle Ben killed. I mean, how could you do that? Uh, yeah, and unwrench the underwear. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I really want to know where that ship went. <coughs> and I really want to find this Iridium. I just want to get my warp drive built. Me. He also makes one some curry. <laughs> I'm not fed into my whistle. My whistle is wet as the whip whippet snappers say. <laughs> you mean my whistle is wet as the whipper snappers say? <laughs> I can tell you on your third gin and tonic, mate, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying them. Everybody deserves a break. Can't go wrong with getting your whistle wet. Whee! Uh, I really need to find Iridium, then. Right. And the almighty gods of No Man's Sky and Sean Murray himself appear and drop down some Heridium for me. But will not let me land. God damn you. Really? Come on. Landing area not clear what? What is so unclear about that, man? God damn it. Hold the G and give me T. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, I forget you're a... Uh, you don't drink, do you, Alpha? Fair play to you. Uh, proper hands down, man. It's I find everybody's got to have their release, and it, I mean, I don't exactly get um, that drunk anymore. But 
definitely a release for me after a hard day's work, I'll tell you. What the fuck? I love curry. Canada and the UK have the best Indian food outside of Bangladesh, my friends. Oh yeah, I, I can make a mean curry myself, I'll tell you now. I was um, I was actually a chef for a restaurant in the town I live at for um, two years, just over two years. Like, it's quite funny to be fair, because I, um, I started off in that job as a pot wash. Literally 12 hours a week used to wash up the pots, pans, dishes, whatnot. And then the uh, the sous chef they had working there was a pile of crap, so they told me to step it up and try my hands at it. And yeah, I ended up chefing for two years, which was pretty cool. And um, yeah, I actually learned how to make some pretty decent food with that. And curry was one of the ones I used to love making. Because I love curry myself. You really can't go wrong with a nice curry. Where are you from, man? I'm guessing, seeing as he said uh, Canada's got Canada and UK have the best Indian food, I'm guessing you're from Canada? Just a, just a random guess. It's either Canada or the UK. Uh, used to drink a lot, gave up three years ago. Oh, fair play to you, man. It's, it's never easy giving something up that you've, um, that you've done for a long time. And um, to be honest, I always respect somebody if if they've given up something. Because you know, cutting out cutting out those habits is always hard. Deserves to relax in the water, so I'm not against the others that do. No, it's the same as me. I, uh, you know, I've got quite a few of my mates drink, quite a few of them smoke weed. You know, things like that. I mean, I've dabbled in all that stuff myself. I still drink, and I have the occasional uh, smoke on a green fag every now and then. I know, I know exactly how hard it is to quit something and, and easy so you know hands down to anybody who does do that and you should show them the utmost respect for doing that <coughs> um, okay. uh, Panda, I am a British citizen, dad from London mum from Grand Hayman I was born in Georgetown, Grand Cayman, grew up in Dog City, but currently reside in Texas, US. Oh, fair play, man. Fair play. I'd love to do that myself, man. I'd love to just go to um, go to America. Be awesome. Um, uh, thank you for coming by, uh, Hidden Dragon. Honestly, thank you so much for sticking with me. Have a good night's sleep. Um, I hope to see you next time, and make sure to like if you if you've enjoyed what you've saw, man. Yeah, I appreciate you you sticking on. Um, oh man, you quit smoking four years four years ago, tobacco to be clear. So do you still smoke the other stuff then, Panda? Eh? Eh? The way you've been speaking lately, I am wondering that. Uh, Kendall, I have to run. Got a couple of events to do for me and take care if you want. Thank you so much, Kendall, for popping by as well. Sorry, I've only just noticed your message saying you've got to run. Thank you so much. It's been great having you. Yeah, man, it's, it, this has been an awesome stream, honestly, man. I've enjoyed it so much. I, I've been laughing my head off. But, um, I love seeing you guys chatting in the chat box as well, so thank you all for coming along. Um, yeah, so... Seek answers amongst the stars.
Um, I do occasionally. I'm a business manager, so I must <laughs> must remain off CL. So I must remain off clear mind. Off clear mind. Oh yeah. No, I know the. Uh, I know the feeling. Like I work in a. Um, I work in like a supermarket, shopping mall, um, cooperative or co-op. It's called. So yeah, I'm around uh, customers and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I could not do that job whilst uh, baked off my mind. No way in hell. I'll have one on the occasion when I want to get to bed or I want to chill out before I get to sleep and that. But I stopped doing that a long time ago. Properly anyway. Um, well, for, I gave up smoking, well, I gave up giving up smoking, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a bit like that as well, man. Tried to quit smoking, I think I quit for about three months, and then, yeah, just ended up starting up again. Mm. Oh, good. Tobacco, I mean, I don't do drugs anymore, I quite still don't need them the way my mind works. Yeah, you have got a um, pretty uh, trippy mind as it is, Alpha, from what I've seen of you, or heard of you. Subs, you know, 57. Odd and uh, successful stream to say the least. Hey, what? I've got 57. It's only popped up saying that one more person subscribed to me. That's bizarre. Oh, wow, I actually do, man. That's awesome. No, honestly, man, I really do appreciate that, guys. Like, it's always difficult trying to stream when you haven't got somebody to speak to or no, nothing going on in the chat box, and it sort of gets you down a bit, man. It makes you feel like that you're not interesting or that your stream's not interesting, so you start to doubt yourself. I have you guys here today, and you know, give me that bit of a confidence boost in a sense. You know, I really do appreciate it, honestly. People that don't share their subs don't show up. Some people have it turned off where the subscription is private. Oh right, okay, I didn't know that. Oh, fair enough then. Still, man, that's awesome. Like, I'm obviously getting hidden, hidden subscribers. It's it's just as amazing, honestly. And yes, Panda, I'm, I'm definitely aiming for 100, honestly. And if I get to that before the 24th, I will be setting another goal for the 24th. I'm not going to stop there, I'll tell you that now, man. I'm, I'm, aiming for, I'm aiming for the top. I want to reach out to as many people as I can. You're now at 58. You in our Discord, and you seem like a great person to have a laugh with and chat to. I will join. Yeah, honestly, Panda, like, uh, we, he lent no huge Discord. But um, we're slowly growing and, you know, we're slowly getting there. And it'd be amazing to have somebody like you because you genuinely are a really good laugh, man. I'm so glad that you've jumped into my, into my stream today because it's just you and Alpha and uh, friggin' everybody else who's been on my stream. It's been so goddamn hilarious, man, honestly. 
to have you guys in um in our Discord would it would just be awesome, like. And like I said, you know, we've got our talk show, so if you've ever got any ideas or uh, topics of conversation you'd love to talk about or you'd love for us to talk about, you know, post them in there. We also do a screenshot showcase as well where you can uh, you can upload your screenshots to one of our chat boxes and then we will showcase them on our uh, on our Sunday night show or Sunday day show. No, oh, that's awesome, man. I'm up to 58 now, so somebody's literally just subscribed again. This is awesome, man. Genuinely is. Um, I would recommend, since you have OBS, that you look into Restream. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, the chat is behind my head. I mean behind my head. Ah, yeah, it's because I haven't changed it. It's been a while since I've been on um on my PlayStation on here. So the chat box is still. There you are, man. Should be just above my head now. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Yeah, restream IO so you can stream to Twitch and Facebook simultaneously. Oh right, so it um So it doesn't only stream to YouTube, it also streams to Twitch and to Facebook at the same time. I suppose that would be a pretty good way of getting my name out there. So now a lot of people prefer Twitch over um YouTube. Personally when I tried Twitch I wasn't a big um I wasn't a big fan of it, but you know, it's personal preference at the end of the day. And that was, like, that was a while ago, so I, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I might find it better if I tried it now, but... Alright, that's that's pretty awesome then. I take it that's what you do, and... Is that the same thing that Cobra was doing before, or does he still do that? Oh god, predator incoming. Stay away. No. No. Go away. Stay the hell away from me. Honestly, it does mean a lot to us to um, join our Discord. Like I say, man, we, we're honestly trying our hardest to, to grow our Discord. And, you know, we, we're trying our best to pump in content and actually get, like, active active people on there that are using our, our different chat sections and places to stream stuff. And, you know, it would be nice to fill it out a bit and see it into some use. And Alpha's worked really hard to sell it up, and he's sell it up in such a good way, like, man. Like, fair play to him. Um, and you can get chat for all, look into the convergent on Twitch. Melamoni and... Roto and Bondoc would love to help you. Bet Twitch subs. No, no, this guy. Do, yeah, as I don't have the bandwidth of my location for it. What do you mean they'd love to help help me bet Twitch subs for No Man's Sky? Or get, did you mean? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna take it you mean get. But I mean, if it's something that's... um. If it's something that's very taxing on the in on your internet or your bandwidth, I um 
I might not be able to do it myself at the moment, to be honest, because I struggle. I struggle to do what I'm doing now. Well, I don't really struggle at the moment because I've managed to connect it up slightly through Ethernet, but I don't know if it'd be good enough to run something like that. But I'll definitely look into it. And I'll definitely, um, definitely see about it because it's always good to have a, a big audience. And I'll oh, damn you, predators! Away. Got to talk to people. Um. Craft the warp. So, we don't need to repair our city. This is good. You are so pretty. I have a No Man's Sky Twitch group. They are passionate fans. Thing is, a drunk. Give me the keyboard. <laughs> No man, I'm always down for getting to know people who are compassionate No Man's Sky fans. I mean, as you can tell, I'm a huge No Man's Sky fan myself. I've been following this game since launch and playing this game since launch. I do apologise, I've got people messaging me constantly on there. Uh, Facebook at the moment, God's sake. Correct, I, I promise I've only had three. I'm over six foot tall and 260 pounds. I'm basically a panda. Other words, I'm barely buzzed. <laughs> being Irish, I never knew when to stop the jokes. Yeah, I'm surprised being Irish, you didn't know when to stop the drinking either. Irish have a reputation for their drinking. Um. I hope you don't mind, I'm just going to run for a quick piss and then I'm going to roll myself a fag. I'll be back in about two minutes. I'll well, make sure to leave you with some peaceful music.
Hello, I am back. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember how many subs I had when I uh, started. Oh, this video. 53? Four. <clears throat> okay, just gonna roll myself a fat guys. chatting about it at the moment. A quick word for me. Are those are fighting words, lol. Uh, you're saying that to me? <coughs> I'll always, uh, I'm always down for a tussle. Wait until PvP's out on uh, No Man's Sky, Alpha. I'll be gunning for you. Even though my mother is from Cayman, her main name is Kelly, so Irish descent. My dad's last name is Isabel, which is from Normandy, going way back. My dad was a naval sea captain of Dreadnought. I swear, let's Irish stick together, a little Irish is enough. <laughs> <coughs> I bet all the girls say that about you, eh? A little Irish. <laughs> uh, I'm only messing around with you, Alpha. Class shit. His last name is Snowden, my cousin, currently worked for the Ministry of Defence in the UK. We have hundreds of European history. We damn Imperial spreading your seed everywhere and mom's DNA probably came from pirates or buccaneers. <laughs> Luckily, slavery isn't a thing these days. Oh well. Sort of isn't. There's days when I feel like where I work is like being a slave. Oh, bloody arseholes. Well, fingers crossed I've got interview on uh, next Tuesday. So, you know, I'm hoping all goes well. I'll, um... I'll be having a new job and this job only involves me working three days a week which means that I which means that I'll um, I'll hopefully be having a hell of a lot more time to be able to stream for you guys man which means a lot to me and I hope it means a lot to you as well <coughs> Exactly, UK Gamer. More time to stream. I'm hoping to look, like I was saying, I'm hoping to look a lot more into uh, video editing as well. I wouldn't mind doing a couple of Let's Plays and doing my own proper video edits, a couple of photo edits and whatnot. It'd be awesome, man. Um, <coughs> slavery. In America, if you don't care, prison system. But I won't go further. Yeah. I mean that's the topic best left for another uh, another day. But uh, yeah, for um, for any of you who don't know, UK Gamer eighty four is actually my brother. He is the one that I was going on about earlier on in the stream that's pushed me to um, to become a become a streamer or try my hands at streaming. And you know he's given me a hell of a lot of motivation for it. So I've got a I've got a give him credit where it's due man. If it wasn't for him I wouldn't be in there talking to you guys. <coughs> um, let's see where I am in my story missions. Awakenings go into Stella. 
I'm going into Stella. Anomalous signal blocking warp. I've never noticed that before. What is it saying that? Is that purely just because it's a system I can't go to? Cheers, Alpha. Funny enough, that's what my brother said as well after my first stream. <clears throat> I was a bit nervous afterwards and didn't really know how it went, so I asked him what he thought, and he said that it was just like watching every other No Man's Sky streamer. And then I was a natural at it. It means a lot to me, it really does, man. It's it's why I love No Man's Sky community, and it's why I'm so glad that I've I've started or decided to stream when No Man's Sky is as big as it is. Because I don't think if it wasn't for this community, then I'm not sure if I would still be streaming right now. Ooh. Anything, just got you playing No Man's Sky again and showing you how awesome the community was. Yeah, that is true, but you did also, you know, you also helped me with video editing and like you were the one that came up with the poems for those videos that I'd done. And that's <coughs> that's part of the reason why I ended up streaming because I didn't want to do just videos. I wanted to stream and actually speak to speak to the community as well. You know, man, give yourself more credit. I really hope that it's, my stream isn't coming across as so pixelated it, as it is on my screen right now. Yeah, it is as well. <laughs> the humble modesty runs through the both of you, D. Yeah. We're not quite as modest to each other in, uh, in person. This is all for camera, this is. All for sure. fair, it's you that's uh, helping me get this job as well. Which, if I can, if I can get it, and if I do get it, it will hopefully free up a hell of a lot more time for me. So I can put a lot more time into into this new found hobby that I'm enjoying so much, man. It is something I'd really love to do a lot more. Do you mean it does that for everybody or it or has it just been doing for me while we've been streaming? I've only just really noticed it now. But I mean it's probably because I'm running running the uh, PlayStation through the remote play on my PC so it's it's having to use the internet as well. Something that let me have to make 
hate that they make you purchase the suspension fluid though, because it costs you so much. Alright then, that's alright. Uh, yeah, cheers for popping by UK Gamer man, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like in there as well, I expect it from you. Blood relation, it's a... It's a guaranteed long. <laughs> it's a frame rate thing, oh, that's alright then. As long as it ain't just me man, I'd, I want people to have a clear... A clear view on my stream. I will be AFK two seconds, I just need to take a phone call. Sorry oh, about that guys. My uh, missus wanted to see if I wanted anything from the shop. As I do, she's a good one. Yeah man, I'm, I'm really chuffed with today's stream. I honestly am. It's been such a good stream. I've had a hell of a laugh on it. I, I've gained four subs since I've been on, which is freaking awesome man. I think that must be the most I've earned. In like one stream. Yeah man, it's just that's freaking awesome man. Thank you so much guys. What do we do? Get some emerald, make some money, that we're not to waste on a goddamn freaking suspension fluid. Five? What am I on um fifty-nine now? I mean that'd be friggin' awesome if I am. Hello to my new viewer, welcome to uh to my channel. Infinite Gamer is here. I'll uh, be showing you my uh, new save on No Man's Sky ready to go to the uh convergence cluster. Ready for when next releases. And oh damn man, that ship looks like a TIE fighter. Oh, that's awesome. Such a shame because I really want that ship, but I'm 
Garantier, I don't have the money for it. Oh, it's on 53, was it? I thought it was on 54. Either way, man, it's awesome. Four subscribers, five, even just one. It's awesome, man. I'm, I'm so psyched about that. I'm glad that people are enjoying my content. Oh man, it isn't even many units either. I wait, it's for another 15 slot starship there. Yeah, that's probably not worth it to be fair. <coughs> I feel like Panda's gone quiet all of a sudden. Real life issues probably arising. The bane of all streamers' lives. The real life. Oh man, considering it's starting to turn night here and getting dark, I'm starting to get extremely hot. I think my room is uh, getting a bit hot. Saying that, my PC is freezing cold. The awesome thing about having water cooling in your uh, PC. You went to get another GNT, now I don't know where he is hiding. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you went to get another GNT. Ugh. Another phone call, two minutes. Turn. Just there speaking and realised that I didn't take my mic back on. Okay, so. I need to craft another warp salt. So I'm going to put anti matter. Mm, I need femium. So Alpha, how long was your uh, your video in the end then? I know you were saying that you was uh, it's, it was taking you quite a while to do it. Sixteen minutes and twenty seconds. 
Is that longer than you was uh, hoping for, or is it a lot shorter than you expected? So I'll definitely be giving it a watch later. <laughs> Thamium and so much of it. Boy. From five hours footage and gameplay. Five hours for a 16 minute video. Seems crazy when you think of it like that. It comes down to video editing and that. And you can have so much footage and you can whittle it down into so little. I have no doubt it's a good, an awesome video. Right. I've seen some of the stuff you've done before. And <coughs> you are very skilled when it comes down to that. I will admit. Quite envious of you. But hopefully I'll get there one day myself. Where's my shit? Um, I probably will be ending my stream shortly. I'm, um, I'm actually getting rather tired to be fair. I've been up since 7 o'clock this morning and then I had work. The bane of my life. And it's starting, getting, starting to get quite hot now, so it's starting to make me uh, quite tired. I think I'll do the next part of this mission. Really didn't get as far as I was hoping, but ah well. Either way, man, I've had a good laugh. Yep, then another two hours for editing. Yeah, I remember when I was doing the uh, the video edits that I've done, and I, I was spending like five hours on it, and I was getting five minutes worth of video <laughs> from it. A crazy and error for every minute. But it's mental how much um, like how much time it does take just to get things like synced up properly and working right and looking good. Um, hidden panda. Wait, what? How come your name has just changed? That's so confusing. Um and I will come here much more often, you're awesome. Honestly mate, thank you so much. That that means a world to me, it really does. And uh, yeah, Alpha, you're definitely right. Like, I've had an awesome stream, and it's been a good laugh, and you know, getting to know you guys a bit more, and actually having a laugh. It's been amazing, like. But it really has. This has been one of my best streams yet. I've loved it so much. Honestly, man, like... Oh, man. Thank you so much for that. It's, it's always a good boost to my confidence to hear people say things like that. It means so much to me. It really does. Uh, I hope to see you on more of my... Um, more of my streams. Like, I'd love to have you back on them. And I hope you, um, I hope you come to one of our Infinite Pictures talk shows as well, man. And I hope you come on and chat because I'd love to actually chat with you, and I'm sure Alpha would agree. So yeah, we'd love to have you on and pick your brain about a couple of games and about No Man's Sky and whatnot. The other one was my personal. All oh, right, fair play. So you got two then. Yeah, man, like, it, it really has been awesome having you on, and I've been back. I've loved it. Um, what have I actually got to do there? Oh, God, I apologise for yawning. Like I said, it's been a very long day for me. Um, I've got to walk to another system. Yeah man, can't believe it, 58 subs, like, 
it was only earlier I was on 49 or 48 and I was, I was chatting to Liam just saying, you know, I'm so close to my halfway mark and to just in one stream to have demolished that and shot up by so much, I'm, I'm honestly so chuffed about that. Man. to fuel source. Yeah, gone. Won't turn down for you, fool. Fine groups. What is this a system? That, uh, only got one planet. Yep. Always fun. The Vikings never seem to have many planets in their systems. I'll, um, I'll definitely be checking out your uh, channel more as well, Panda. Definitely. Thank you so much, you two, for uh, sticking with me for the whole stream. Like, it's honestly, it's been amazing, and I've had such a good stream and such a good laugh, and I hope you two have as well. And um, for anyone else who happens to watch or who was in my stream, you know, thank you so much for coming by and checking me out. Um, please remember to drop a like in there if you if you like the. The content you see and if you'd like to see more make sure you subscribe and click that little bell notification because I'll um I'll be doing a lot more of where this came from. So yeah end it there we shall uh we shall speak to this monolith See Alpha, get in there man, show show the love, it's gotta be done. And yeah, I know you will mate, and likewise to you, any any time I got any spare minutes, seconds, whatever it is, if you're streaming, I'll be there. <coughs> Structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As a stare at it, words from form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveller? Is it friend? It is friend. Because I think everybody in No Man's Sky is friend. Yes, Panda, I look forward to seeing you in the Discord. And well, thank you so much for jo joining that as well. I know it means a lot to um, it means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to Alpha as well to have their Discord growing still. So thank you so much. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken. That someone is watching me. It forms another question: Is it first? Is it last? It is first. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked me these questions many times over. It asks again. Has it seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen it? I have seen both. 
Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety perimeters. Breach detected. Alert, alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awakes. Find us, traveler. I take it that'll be Inara and Paula. Wait, nothing found? It's taking me to fuel, wasn't it? Oh man, did I select the wrong things? Man, this is like proper glitched out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's bizarre. Um. Yeah, I think that calls for uh, me ending the stream. I'm going to have to jump on at another point and see if I can figure out what it's doing now. And yeah, once again, thank you all for coming along. It's been great to have you all here. Thank you for sticking with me and thank you for coming about and watching. I hope you've all enjoyed the stream. And I hope you all enjoy my future streams and my future content. Thank you all. This is Infinite Gamer and I'll, uh, I'll leave you with my... Little end credit music and my credit.